Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, I have two separate immigration updates to share with you. I have an update for you regarding biometrics appointments and a new way for people to reschedule their biometrics appointment. And I also have an update for you regarding a program for foreign entrepreneurs to live in the United States and to operate their own businesses. So make sure to stick around. Hi everyone, my name is Michael Ashuri and I'm a US immigration lawyer based in Los Angeles, California. At my law firm, we work with clients from all 50 states and worldwide, and we regularly post videos to make sure that you're up to date with the latest immigration news and trends. So if you haven't yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button now. Also, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up so that YouTube knows to share this information with more people. As I mentioned in today's video, I have two separate immigration updates to share with you. The first update has to do with biometrics appointments and a new way for you to reschedule your biometrics appointment with USCIS. And the second update has to do with an announcement made by the Department of Homeland Security that they will be continuing the International Entrepreneur Parole Program. So let's get started. So the first update that I have to share with you is that USCIS has officially announced that they will be allowing people to reschedule their biometrics appointment over the phone. This is wonderful news. Take a look at my screen and we'll go through this announcement together. So if you look at my screen, we're currently on the USCIS website and we're looking at a news article that was published on May 11th, 2021. And it says rescheduling biometric services appointments by phone. And it says here, U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, USCIS, announced today that applicants, petitioners, requesters, and beneficiaries may now call the USCIS Contact Center at 800-375-5283 to reschedule their biometrics services appointments scheduled at a USCIS Application Support Center. Previously, applicants had to submit requests in writing to reschedule their biometrics appointments, this change helps eliminate undue paperwork and allows USCIS to track the request through a more efficient process. This next part is very important. It says, applicants must establish good cause for rescheduling and must call before the date and time of their original appointment to reschedule. If an applicant fails to call before the scheduled appointment or fails to establish good cause, USCIS may consider the application, petition, or request abandoned, and as a result, it may be denied. As you can see from that announcement, USCIS is now going to allow people to reschedule their biometrics appointment by phone. This is wonderful news. Let me explain. So for those of you that don't know, biometrics is when you have to go into a USCIS office to get your fingerprints taken. And USCIS uses these fingerprints to run a background check on you to make sure that you don't have anything that makes you inadmissible for immigration. So traditionally, when somebody had a biometrics appointment, they would have to reschedule the appointment by mail. They would have to basically check off a box on their biometrics appointment notice and send a request to USCIS to reschedule their appointment. Well, the problem was that in many cases, the date that the biometrics appointment notice came in the mail was very close to the date of the actual appointment. And this often posed a problem where people wouldn't have enough notice to request to reschedule their appointment. USCIS is now allowing people to call in to reschedule their appointment, which should hopefully make the process much smoother and easier. Now, as you saw from that announcement, in order to reschedule your biometrics appointment, you must call in before the date of your appointment. So you can't call in after the appointment to reschedule the appointment you must call to reschedule the appointment before the actual appointment. Also, you must have good cause to reschedule the appointment. You can't just call in and say, oh, I don't feel like going today. From this announcement, what we're seeing is that USCIS wants good cause in order to reschedule the appointment. So the next update that I wanna share with you is that the Department of Homeland Security has announced that they will be continuing with the International Entrepreneur Parole Program. The International Entrepreneur Parole Program is a tremendous option for foreign entrepreneurs to live and work in the United States. So take a look at my screen and we'll go through this announcement together. So if you take a look at my screen, we're on the USCIS website 
and we're looking at a news article that is dated May 10th, 2021. And the title of this news release says DHS announces continuation of international entrepreneur parole program. And it says here program will provide opportunities for foreign entrepreneurs. And it says here U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services announced today that the Department of Homeland Security is withdrawing a 2018 notice of proposed rulemaking that proposed to remove the International Entrepreneur Program from DHS regulations. The International Entrepreneur Parole Program, first introduced in 2017, will remain a viable program for foreign entrepreneurs to create and develop startup entities with high growth potential in the United States. The program will help to strengthen and grow our nation's economy through increased capital spending, innovation, and job creation. So as you can see from that announcement, the Department of Homeland Security has announced that they will be continuing with the International Entrepreneur Parole Program. Now, again, I'm particularly excited about this announcement because this is a tremendous option for foreign entrepreneurs to come to the United States and live in the United States and to work for their business. Now, I'm going to be recording a video in the future that goes over some of the details of the International Entrepreneur Parole Program. But as a general overview, some of the requirements are that the foreign entrepreneur must have a substantial ownership interest in the U.S. startup company. The U.S. company must have been formed within the last five years. And the U.S. company must have substantial potential for rapid growth and job creation. There are various other requirements as well. Again, I plan to go into those requirements at a later time, but the important thing to know is that through the International Entrepreneur Parole Program, we're going to have another option for foreign entrepreneurs. We're seeing a clear instance, a clear example, where somebody can get immigration benefits to the United States, and we're benefiting the economy and creating jobs for workers. So again, this is a wonderful announcement, and I'm very happy to be able to share this with you. So there you have it. In this video, we went over two new updates. We talked about how USCIS is now going to allow people to reschedule their biometrics appointment by making a phone call and to avoid having to send paperwork and wait for a response from USCIS. Now, people are gonna be able to just make a call to reschedule their biometrics appointment. And again, we also talked about how DHS, the Department of Homeland Security, has announced that they will be continuing with the International Entrepreneur Parole Program. I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. I hope you got a lot of value from this video. As always, thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you on the next video.